The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome, folks, to the terrific Tuesday. We're the Taco Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is uh, always happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears and buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on at 877 -927 Yet if you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got all the indices with the exception of the transports in the green. Dow's up 39, S&P's up 10, and then NDX 140, Russell's up 3, Semis are up 12, New York Stock Exchange 19, Wilshire 5,000 up 96. It's the transports that are down 28 buckaroonies. Spot volatility index is basically flat. Gold's off $3, silver's down 9 pennies, lights we crude is up a quarter, natural gas up just a tad out here, leading the charge dollar-wise. To the upside, it's Rockwell Automation. That's up 20 bucks or 11%. Chipotle's up 14 or 2%. ICU Med up 5% or 9 bucks. Kraft Brew Alliance up 9. The Trade Desk up 9. To the downside, it's Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, they're down 13 bucks. Solid BioSense is off 8. J2 Global down 5. So there's certainly things to look at. But uh, the first thing we're going to look at, I believe, is Clovis Oncology. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? How you feeling? I'm doing great, Steve. Excellent. Thank you very much for taking the call, and thanks for taking care of those ones yesterday. I appreciate that. Hey, my, my, my pleasure, as always. So ticker symbol here, folks, is CLVS. Brent, tell us what you're doing and how we can help you. I'm uh, in this one uh, <clears throat> long with a lower price. I, I like the way that it uh, that uh, bullish engulfing candle at the bottom, at the low. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, I, I'm in this one. I'm trying to. I'm looking in this area. I already talked to you about Mylan. I'm in that. Yes. And then this one um, with some shares, and then also some call options on them. Out of ways, just to you know, give myself time. But uh, what I wanted to ask you about on this one in particular is uh, again, I like that candle it put in. It, you know, it came down and tested that a little bit. Sure. Had the gap up on Thursday, the follow through on Friday. It looks like it might be running into uh, some horizontal resistance around six. I just wanted you to take a look at it and get your, your thoughts and your analysis if you could. No, absolutely. So, folks, if we take a look at the uh, daily time frame chart for Clovis Oncology, one of the things that you like to see is uh, is uh, volume off of the bottom. So although on the trading day of October 28th, uh, Clovis Oncology made a slightly lower low, it was a, really a key reversal session out there. Now, that key reversal session, Brent, was coming while price was moving lower and doing it with less relative energy. So that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom signal. So we like that. A 568 on the daily basis is actually a resistance area. You did see a close above it for one day. Yesterday fell back uh, down below that. Um, so you know that that is a real significant resistance area, 568. You like to see two 
bars close above that, two consecutive bars close above that. Um, this would suggest price could pull back to around 398, four bucks. That's where the red line level is, the oscillator and change line, knowing that price has run into resistance out here. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to point out, uh, Brent, to all of the listeners out here was here's a perfect, so it puts in a, a perfect bottoming signal. You've got the rose momentum indicator, you've got a key reversal, wide ranging bar, volume, in this case here, volume pushing, we'll, we'll have to assume, I'm going to assume volume pushing higher, volume off the bottom. And then what takes place over the next three trading sessions is uh, you get uh, price trading with inside the bar pulling back on lighter volume, uh, which really gave for a perfect uh, breakout. Actually, as soon as price closed above the either the close or the high of October 28, depending on whether you're a conservative or a um, uh, or an aggressive trader out there it created the three. It created the rising, uh, rising, uh, uh, oh, shoot, rising. Uh, it's a continuation pattern. Uh, the word escapes me right now off the top. A rising three pattern out there. Um, in any event. Uh, uh, so, so on the daily chart, everything looks uh, real good. As far as uh, where price could pull back to, the top of the box is 392, 398, 399 is my red line. So that would be something I would be looking at out here. For the daily time frame, price is above its uh, weekly profile. So that's nice and bullish out here. Um, as far as bottoming signals on a weekly time frame out here, Brent, um, I don't have one per se. That doesn't mean that it didn't bottom. Uh, if price can clear the level that we were looking at a daily time frame, then a nice price the next price target would be 1353. That was on a weekly basis where Clovis Oncology broke down. That was the high, by the way, of the week that began July or ended July 19th out there. So let's just take a look at the weekly or to the monthly time frame chart because this is going to make it easy peasy to understand whether Clovis Oncology on its way up, assuming that it's going to continue to move up huh, out here, has put in a real solid bottom. And that's this, Brent. When we take a look at uh, the monthly time frame chart, what we are going to see when we look at the oscillator and change line is price has been below that level since November of 2017. And there have been a couple of tests as prices have bounced. The most recent one really takes us back to March of this year out here. And price stopped right in its tracks right at that line. If you were to ask me how does this line work, I know how it works theoretically, practically. I know how I use it to help identify and call the markets. But mathematically, why it is that it acts as a great support or resistance magnet, I don't know. But it's so clear on the chart out here. And that, by the way, that's price today at 983. That level will be cha will change as price moves up or down out here. But any close above that level on a monthly basis says you're in a uh, you, you've likely got a change in trend from a longer term standpoint. So in summary, the resistance inside of Clovis Oncology that you're right now dealing with is five dollars and sixty eight cents. You'd like to see two daily closes above that to then see price move on to higher levels and those higher levels, the next one being 1353, give or take out there. But obviously it won't get to 1353 before it deals with 983 and that's that monthly uh, oscillator on change line. How's that uh, for you, Brent? That is <clears throat> extremely helpful, Steve. That gives me all the levels to watch. Very much appreciate it. Have a wonderful Perfect. day and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. You bet. And best of luck on that trade. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Dow's up 38. S&P 10. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 35, S&P uh, 10, NASDAQ 100 up 41 points. So let's go to uh, some of our questions that have come in. Looks like we've got about five or six at this stage here. Uh, the first question coming in from uh, Ian. And uh, Ian wants to take a look at... Um, at the IBB, so I wanted uh, I wanted for you to review IBB as a short candidate. I shorted a half a position at 110. It doesn't really matter. Can you talk about a place where I should add <laughs> add to your short position? And uh, so let's go take a look at. Here's what we know about the IBB. That is the Nasdaq Biotech uh, Biotech Index uh, Fund out here. It's trading right now at uh, 11084. 11084 uh, takes us above the top of our bearish structured daily profile. Now, the top of that box, Ian, was 107.73. As Stevie likes to say, there's nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern. And that's what you've got in place out here. So with regard to going short the IBB, I don't see it, at least right now, with regard to TAS market profiles and what price has done over the last handful of days out there. You also have the IBB above the top of its weekly profile. The top there was 104.98. And right now, you have the IBB that's trading above the center of its monthly profile. Of course, we're early into the month, but that level is 109.32. When you trade above that, it says you want to move to higher price. Okay, so that's what that says. You're asking about a short position. So as we pull up in Stevie's other chart out here, I could under stand the uh, the potential of a short position as this formed a TD set up nine count. It did it on November 6th. The uh, bar number eight was the high. But right now what you've got is price trading above that level. The high of that day out there is 110.60. And you could use that high, I'll say, as resistance of this uh, pattern. And if price closes above that, I don't have any reasons for you to be short the IBB, at least taking a look at the daily time frame chart. If I look at wave counts to the upside, it's either in wave number uh, five or in wave number one, A or E, that is on my screen. Yes, price is moving higher, doing less relative energy, but that is not a sell signal. It's a warning sign of a potential top. In order for that to form a top, you must see some type of bearish reversal candle. And Ian, it's just not there. That pattern started a few days ago, and so I say 
be very I'm very I'd be very cautious out here in being short the IBB. If I look at my weekly time frame chart, my other set of charts out here, this tells us that price is headed to where it broke down. That's 114.88. I don't know if that's the kind of heat that you want to take on this move, but I don't see anything bearish about the weekly time frame for IBB. And if I look at the monthly time frame, we're going to see where it's trading in relation to Stevie's green line. And right now, price is above that level. This is a monthly time frame. The month is not over. Price has been below this area since October of 2018. But that level is 109.31. And if you get a close above 109.31 out here, I've got daily, weekly, and monthly charts that say you should be long the IBB, not short the IBB. So we invest of luck on that trade. As far as stops, um, you know, I think uh, that's the best time to have your stop in place when you enter the trade because you do the proper position sizing. And your stop should be some level greater than its average true range. What I like to use is a 10 day average true range. Right now, that is representing a dollar 54. I multiply a buck 54 times 1.272 or 1.618. And, uh, and that's what I would use for a stop. It would be that level whatever the whatever the entry point was on that so uh, best of luck with regard to going short the IBB I wish I had some different news for you it's just the news that's all Lee writes in and he says uh, can you please give me your current thoughts on UNG so now this one came in from yesterday uh, which is fine um, but let's go take a look at uh, natural gas let's do that by taking a look at four different time frames uh, here we've got the 60 the 120, the third panel is a daily, the fourth panel is the uh, weekly. And here what we're looking for, is there any kind of support from a profile standpoint? And the answer is no, not in the daily or the weekly. The weekly here, Lee, price closed below 2.682. That was the top of the weekly. Next support level on the way down from a profile standpoint, 251 to as low as 238 out there, as long as price stays inside that box. You also must be careful of the island top that formed out here yesterday. That was the gap to the downside uh, that actually took place Sunday evening. But that left a complete island for all those folks that are trapped on that island between November 4th and then on Friday, November the 8th out there. And those folks are just praying that the boat gets back up there back up to those price levels, probably just simply to uh, uh, sell out. If I take a look at uh, natural gas out here using my other charts, there are two patterns that formed a top. Those two patterns are the A to B equals CD that form with the bearish reversal candle, the dark cloud cover, and then some additional follow through. It also topped with a TD setup nine count. This all suggests price could pull back to 241. And I know you're looking for an entry price, so I'm going to give you my entry prices right now. 241 to um, 251 would be the area that I would be watching. But we'll need to see how this is really trading should price pull back into those levels. So, Lee, that's what I see with regard to uh, UNG at this stage. Uh, the earliest point in time, those would really be pattern oriented out here. If we take a look at natural gas and I pull over the short term time frames, short term being 30, 60, 120 minute, you'll see that the bounce that took place earlier this morning ran right in resistance, right where it should have, where it last broke down on a 30 minute basis was $2.67 out there. That's that green solid line. Price needs to start closing above those green solid lines, 267, 270, 269, 2.716. All those levels are where price needs to close above to give any chance that this is uh, going to turn before it would complete some other pattern, such as going and testing the support levels or Stevie's uh, or the breakout area on the daily time frame. But right now, that's really what it looks like uh, to me, Lee, as of 1.25 in the afternoon when we take a look at natural gas. Alan writes in, and Alan wants to uh, take a look at Cody, ticker symbol C-O-D-I. So let's pop those uh, up on our charts out here. Um, actually, you have to type in the correct symbol that is compass diversified holdings so i've uh, got them up on both screens now i know this message comes away let's see cody has just broken out of a 13 year base i'd like to go along this equity but i'm wondering if it's likely to pull back to its breakout area well you ask about the breakout area first so let's go take a look at it first here well actually first just as long as we're on this page you've got price right now trade above the top of its profile 2265 a uh, close above that today 
that's bullish. It's above the weekly profile, 1959. It's above the monthly top of the box at 1835. Cody, a compass diversified, looks uh, pretty good. Now, you mentioned breakout area. The breakout area that Stevie has on the daily time frame for Cody, C-O-D-I, is $19.42 out there. Now, price is moving higher, doing it with um, with less relative uh, energy as we speak right now, uh, but that alone is not your bullish or your bearish signal out there. You need to see some type of um, a bearish reversal candle. And until you get that, by the way, the first pullback area or the first buy entry into Cody could just simply be a test of Stevie's green line. Currently, that's priced at 2187 but the daily time frame chart, it looks mighty bullish out there. And just a caution sign, that's all. And the weekly, man, so far looks pretty good too. I'll take a further look at this during the break. Actually, it looks good on the weekly. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at uh, Cody, T ticker symbol C-O-D-I. Currently, the Dow, everything is in the green. Transport's the only thing in the red off 40 points out here. So as I went to the uh, break to take a look at Cody, it was the monthly time frame chart. And so, Alan, uh, there is some potential here for a pullback. If we if we take a look at Cody on a monthly time frame, we're going to see that the last two highs out here, and what I'm referring to is back in December of 2013, that formed with a TD setup 
Nanko. Then the price went lower for really quite some time, went into 2016. Then you had a nice little rally. Uh, that rally had nine consecutive closes on a monthly basis where each close was above the close of the month four bars earlier. And uh, But this tops as well on bar number nine of the TD setup nine count. That was in December of 2016. December? What did I say the other one was? December? What month are we coming into? December? I don't know. I, I don't know, Alan. It is the third time the charm. Uh, you happen to be in bar number nine on a monthly basis for Cody. That's the only pattern that I can see out here. Other than the daily, we saw price movement higher doing less relative energy, but not confirmed yet. So I'd stay put. I wouldn't chase this uh, knowing that we could just take a look at those other prior patterns, longer term patterns out there and uh, see how this one uh, plays out. So best of luck with that as uh, well. We've got a request here from uh, Sat P says, uh, could you suggest if there's a bottom in SMAR, S-M-A-R? So let's first go see what SMAR is, and then go see if we can find a uh, bottom. That smart sheet out here. So here's what we know about smart, smart, smart sheet out here. I, it's about as good as I can do. And that is a uh, price is consolidating between its uh, bearish structured daily profile. Uh, 3938 is resistant, 3595 is support. Price is trading with inside its equally balanced uh, weekly profile. Bottom is 3653, the top is 4386. And the monthly chart doesn't provide us with a whole lot of information out there. It just hasn't been trading long enough. No profiles, so to speak. If we do take a look at the daily time frame and you're asking me the question sat p did this bottom the answer is going to be yes it bottomed on the uh, trading day of october 25th when that confirmed that bull sash candle confirmed i do say confirmed its roads momentum indicator top now price immediately whenever you get a bottom whenever you get a bottom the next thing you have to do is go figure out where resistance is at because that becomes your target of the move upside. You got to break above resistance in order to say now you've got a continuation move. And out here, out here, it's exactly what price did. It stopped right at the 4099 area. 4099. So price right now, it pulled back. It was a test of Stevie's uh, red line. You've got price above that level, and 40.99 is the uh, number out here. I don't know whether it's going to clear that area or it's just going to trade within a range of 35.31 to 40.99. But uh, as we uh, speak out here, um, your question was, is there a bottom? Yeah, we just found a bottom. And it's trading with inside that consolidation out there. Um, Dudette, I don't know if you, why your screens might be frozen. Uh, uh, guys in the uh, production room, everything looking good there? Uh, just to make sure. Uh, anybody else uh, who might be listening in or watching? Um, you know, that would be great. Uh, here is the weekly time frame chart for uh, a SMAR. And what we can see is this formed a TD9 count bottom pattern out here. Uh, so as we take a look at it, no, no, nothing to be sorry. You were teasing, teasing me. Okay. So you got a nice nine count bottom. Price held its breakout level of 37.67 out here. Now, in the case of the weekly, you need to see a close of a 42.76. But again, you've got a bottom on the weekly. You've got a bottom on the uh, daily. Uh, I don't know if we can get the uh, triple crown out here. But let's take a look at the monthly time frame chart. Now, not enough data on a monthly time frame chart to assist us with that. So uh, Sat P. I hope that that uh, helps you out with regard to ticker symbol S-M-A-R, and uh, best of luck with that. Uh, Kel, Ken writes in. Ken in Wyoming. Hey, Ken, nice to, uh, nice to hear from you. Looking for your read on EPR. Let's go take a look at EPR, figure out what EPR is. Let's type in the correct symbol, Steve-O. That's going to make it much smoother. And I'll be doing the right thing. EPR is uh, EPR properties out here. EPR. Uh, so this thing here is down below its uh, daily. And now, Ken, it is uh, testing and is trading below the weekly profile, 7301. You're at 7283. Profile-wise, this would say a close below 7301 uh, could lead to a move back to 6635. That would be the bottom of its bearish structured monthly profile out there. So you're looking for my read. Let's go take a look at the 
reading on the roads uh, charts out here. We're looking at the white background, the Ninja Trader. No bottom signal here, although price is coming back into a prior hammer candle from back on July 23rd out there. But I don't have a bottoming pattern as we speak just yet. Back then, you had price moving lower, doing less relative energy. You got that bullish candle that went ahead and uh, took price up to its uh, recent high out here. Uh, on a wave count basis to the uh, downside right now in wave number five, that's letter E, but I don't see the bottom other than coming into support out here, Ken. So watch that hammer candle from back then. If I look at the uh, weekly time frame here for uh, EPR properties, the uh, weekly, again, shows the you know bullish engulfing candle but prices testing that area that area by the way is 72.59 um, and if it gets below that man the 6507 area is wide open so I guess to uh, Ken to answer your question I have to assume you're we asking me do I see any kind of bottom inside of EPR properties. Here's your hammer candle at 442,000 shares. You're trading inside of it. Your best bastion for hope if you're looking for a bottom outside of Stevie's normal patterns would be, I would have to say, a test of that hammer candle. 72.25 is the number, and you'd like to see a test to reject that level. Do it with less than uh, 442,000, and then what you want to see is some kind of sign of strength off of that bottom. Uh, and that could be your, you know, a potential buy signal there. So that's what I see when we take a look at EPR properties. Hey, let's go out to Jupiter and speak with Bill. Bill, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm well, Steve. How about yourself? Very good. Thanks for asking. So applied materials is where we're going to spend some yeah. time. Tell the folks uh, what we can, uh, what we can do to assist you. Sure. I'm looking at a very short-term play. Earnings announcement is coming. And I think the stock looks strong. I'm probably going to do an option uh, trade on it. But I just wanted your thoughts on where you, how it looks. I'd like to hear your analysis of applied materials. Okay. So uh, first, from a profile standpoint, the price above the top of the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. So I can understand, uh, you know, you're saying it looks pretty good, looks pretty healthy out there, and uh, should continue to move higher. So, uh, but those uh, profiles are not necessarily going to uh, be a, a topping pattern or signal, but they do provide us with how is price handling the sellers on its way up? Can they overcome those resistance levels and keep the ball moving forward? Here's the problem we've got with AMAT. This formed a nice little road momentum indicator top, and it did it, Bill, on October 29th. Price was moving higher, doing less relative energy. You have the bear show up on October 29th with that bear sash candle. Price moves lower and test TV's green line right now. And today looks like it's going to be bar number seven of a TD setup nine count pattern. Bill, hold on. We come back from this break. We'll further look at AMAT. We'll look at the uh, weekly and the monthly time frame as well. Try to understand where resistance is at for this little puppy for you. Great. Applied materials. We'll be right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at Applied Materials, ticker symbol is AMAT for uh, Bill in Jupiter, Florida. So, Bill, here's what we know. I'm looking at the monthly time frame chart, and the monthly time frame chart shows that back in November 2017, this uh, formed, and those are the highs that it's trying to trade up into, but it formed a nice little Rhodes momentum, momentum indicator top. That's still resistance out there. The high of that, which was the uh, dark cloud cover candle, that high is 6089. What then takes place over the ensuing um, year and a half as price moves lower into December of last year. Not unusual. This was forming a monthly TD setup nine count bottom out there. And uh, so because of that uh, TD setup nine count, what we know is that there's resistance or should be resistance at 5840. And this is trading at 5661. We don't know if that resistance level will hold or fail, but what you and I do know, Bill, is that is your breakdown resistance area, which often does hold as as resistance as we've taken a look at on a number of charts out there. So I don't know that the risk reward. I don't have a I don't have a signal out here to suggest that this is going to move lower, other than when we looked at the daily time frame chart. And, and the only way is we'd have to assume that this is a counter trend rally. And if this is a counter trend rally, you want to probably wait for bars number eight or nine uh, to form. That would be tomorrow or the next day. Well, certainly by the next day, you got to get the ninth bar in there, confirmation of the ninth bar for a top. And then perhaps this is a short, but yet Stevie's green line on a daily basis has continued to hold out here. So it's almost more of a neutral signal right now with regard to AMAT. But um, I don't have any clear signs of a, of a breakout underway. Um, so what, what can you do with that information that I just shared with you? Oh, my God, Steve, that's perfect. That's great analysis. <clears throat> if I do anything for the earnings report, I may buy calls and also buy puts uh, just slightly out of the money to protect myself one way or the other and hope to collect some premium on one side of it. But, no, that was great analysis. Uh, okay, much perfect. appreciated. You bet. Good to hear from you. Thanks for calling in, as always. That was Bill in Bye -bye. Uh, Jupiter. Uh, so we've got a question here from Phil. I think we're getting through all the questions. That's a beautiful thing. Phil writes in. He says, I wonder if you make what, what your make is, what I think about FRO. So let's go take a look at FRO. That is Frontline Limited out here. And as we take a look at uh, FRO, we know that price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile and bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. Closed below that last week. It tested and has rejected the bottom of that box this week. That level, by the way, is 10 bucks even Steven. So if it does close below $10 on Friday, you've got two consecutive closes below that resistance level. Not good. Uh, this could have support at the top of its 
monthly profile at 907. Let's go see what other signals might be out here for Frontline Limited, ticker symbol FRO. If we look at my other daily time frame chart here, this suggests to us that price is headed back to 856. That is where price most recently broke out. 856. That's the trading day of September the 26th out here. Um, so that's what we see. Price below Stevie's green line. The consolidation type area support resistance 856 to 1117. But this looks to me like it wants to move lower out here. That's the daily setup. If I take a look at the uh, weekly setup, what do we have out here? No pattern. Let me see where we're at in uh, wave counts. Come back all the way here in the, the early part of 2018. So that helps us we know where to begin our next uh, wave count here where are we at you did get to wave number seven that is letter g out here two two wave number sevens the last wave number seven led to a decline this one is leading to a decline as well this uh, brings the 780 area into place so now we've got two areas 780 and 856 so 856 obviously is going to be the first one that would be we would be looking at and on the uh, monthly time frame for frontline limited uh this hasn't done a whole lot of moving out here, um, but doesn't look bearish, so to speak. Um, doesn't look bearish, but we're going to have to say that the daily and the weekly right now are controlling the price direction, and they both are suggesting that they want lower price, Phil. That's what I see when I take a look at ticker symbol F. R O and thanks so much for uh, writing in. That was beautiful. We've gotten through everything, and we've got three minutes left in this uh, session, and then another uh, couple minutes in the uh, last uh, closing home stretch. Let's take a look at TAS market profiles out here. There had been one that was trying to form on the daily time frame for the ES Mini. It's evaporated. It's gone. We had one that was trying to form in the Dow on a daily basis. It's evaporated. It's gone. It was attempting to form. So what do we know about profiles with regard to the ES, the NQ, the YM, and the Russell 2000? They're all above resistance. They're all above daily, weekly, quite frankly, monthly and quarterly resistance. Here I can show you what that looks like. We take a look at the ES Mini out here. Here's your ES Mini. Your daily panel is in your upper left, your weekly, your upper right, your monthly lower left quarterly that's right we've got it all folks the quarterly profile in the lower right and what you will see is price is above the tops of all those profiles and therefore shorting becomes very 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 interesting and difficult and i saw a comment inside the den earlier that uh, m was going to wait for evidence and right now, there is no evidence of a top. We've got to go find a bottom. A bottom. We have to go find a pattern in order to help us take a look at that. So let's continue on with the S&P 500. And let's switch over from the ES Mini to the S&P Cash Index. Here is, it's a daily, weekly, and monthly horizontal trading ranges. And right now, it looks like the target is about 3123 or 3097. So another 26 points higher. 3142 would be its monthly horizontal trading range. That's around 3042. 3198 is the uh, monthly. Let me make sure I got that straight. 3123 is the daily. 3142 is the weekly. 3198 or 3190 will 99 we'll call it agent 99 is the monthly time frame everything here from a horizontal trading range boundary line level says that price wants to move to higher ground and that's what we see when we take a look at the charts out here i do see another question so let's go to that we come back to the markets at any point in time and the question is steve do you see, do you also see 1662 low as a three drive to a bottom on the hourly chart for silver, for high ho silver? So let's do this here uh, just for the heck of it. Let me just put silver up on my screen and take a look at its daily, weekly, monthly, and uh, quarterly horizontal trading ranges out here. So you can see prices below 
the bottom of the daily profiles. Bullish in structure, by the way, was that profile. And it closed below 1712, spelled curtains. Well, the curtains just said, hey, price should pull back to the bottom of its weekly profile. John, and that's 1643 out there. And the price right now is uh, trading uh, right above the top of its monthly profile. 1658 is the number. So we got 1643, 1658. And the quarterly just price is uh, consolidating between the top and the bottom. Now, you've asked me to go to a a hourly chart here for silver to look for its three drive to a bottom pattern let's uh, put up the other set of uh, charts out here my other tools i see we're going to a hard break john so we come back from this next break we're going to look at the potential of the three drive to a bottom pattern on the hourly chart for high ho silver we'll be right back Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated traded fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the question is, uh, do I see a three drive to a bottom pattern in uh, silver? And so for a three drive to a bottom pattern, typically what you will see, the first drive, by the way, would be at uh, 7 in the morning on November the 8th. The second drive uh, would take place on uh, November 11th at 10 o'clock. And that was 26 bars. When you have these three drive two patterns form, you like them to be equal uh, in, uh, in a time zone spans. That time zone span would take us to right now. 
at the uh, one o'clock time frame, uh, 26 more bars. The other thing that you like to see is some kind of uh, expansion, Fibonacci expansion of those drives. If we take a look at that Fibonacci expansion out here, and you, like a 1.272, well, you didn't really get down there. The first one from drive one to drive two would have taken you to 1658. So that to me says, well, that's kind of suspect. It's just a retest of a prior bottom. If we take a look at the, uh, the Fibonacci expansion of the second set of swing points out here, that second set says, you know, no, you know. So I don't see it from the traditional way as to I was taught by uh, Larry Pesavento about the three drive to a bottom pattern out here. I do see three tests of a uh, low, but that's really all that I see on the hourly basis with regard to uh, that uh, pattern out here. As far as anything else, if there were, if it were to be a three drive, let's just go with the fact that maybe this is a three drive to a bottom pattern. John, just like with the A to B equals CD, a Gartley, Right, so you got three drive, you got butterfly, buys and sells, you've got Gartley patterns out there. They each need to be confirmed with a bullish reversal candle. And an hourly time frame, I don't have that. So um, that's potentially a three drive, how you're going to take a look at it. It doesn't really fit the way that I was taught. And uh, the way that I uh, was taught was, I wasn't taught, I taught myself, was the real importance on those patterns to get some type of bullish reversal candle. And we don't have them as we speak right now. Satish, my apology, not being able to get to Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, let's go ahead and do that tomorrow. In the meantime, stay tuned. You got two more great hours. You've got uh, our favorite polar bear, David White. He's coming up next. Tom O'Brien to take us on home. And I'll look forward to seeing you on a wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. <laughs>